Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Links Look Lively template which is a PowerPoint template designed to make it as quick and as easy as possible for you to create visually engaging resources which include a digital glossary for your kids. Now for ESL students this is a great way of field building to ensure that they can access the curriculum as much as possible. And it's all basically due to the way the hyperlinks are set up. Let me show you an example. I've used the template to create this document on the Kings of Rome and we can see we just move with the forward button through to the next slide. After this little introduction we can go to the next slide which starts to talk about the first King of Rome, Romulus, and within any normal text there might be some words that your kids don't understand especially ESL kids so what the template does is allows you to put in links to definitions for any of those words for field building which is extremely important to help the kids access the curriculum so we'll just click on this word warrior and it goes to this slide here which is part of the template and all you basically need to do is put in your word your definition your example and then you click this button back here and you'll go back to that slide and you can continue navigating throughout the document and so on. We get to this slide and again the kids might not know what elect means so we'll click to go to that definition in the glossary and then click this button to head on back. From there we can again continue forward, we can go backward or back to the start as easily as that. So, how do you use it? First step is to download the template and you can get it from this website here. Where it's found under the heading hyperlink template. When you open it, it'll look like this, just the four slides. Now, for the first slide, it's basically up to you to add your content, which I'll do now. I might change the background color to white just to match the background of this crown now. but that's up to you and that's really got nothing to do with the template. The next slide is basically your standard slide. So what I'd recommend is making a duplicate of this slide so that you've always got one spare and you can add your content to the first one. So I'll right click, duplicate slide. Now you can see I've got one blank one down here, number three, and number two is where I'll add my content. So I've put some content in there and as I said the content is up to you and this template can be used for any subject. I now want to add some content to the next slide so before I do I'll make a duplicate of it. So I've got that one blank one down the bottom and I'll add my content here. So this content's now been added as well but with the previous example that I showed you you could see that that word warrior was actually linked to a word that we had in the glossary. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. The glossary is the last slide underneath the one that says the, the end in, in big letters. So if we click down on that last slide, this is where you'll insert your, your word for the glossary and a definition and example if you'd like. So again, same principle applies as with the normal slide you just duplicate this so that if we put our first word in here we've got a blank one down the bottom where we can put a second word and, and so on. So on this slide we'll insert our content for the word warrior. So that's been set up. The only part of this template that, that you really need anything even close to technical knowledge is to do what it advises you to do in the red here. Right click on green arrow to add hyperlink. So what you need to do there is you need to know where you want this green arrow to point to. Okay. Now it was slide number three that was going to take us down to this word and perhaps we should do that first. The link from warrior down to the warrior item in our glossary. What you need to do there is to just select the word warrior, right click on it and you'll get this menu then choose hyperlink. Once you've done that you'll get this window just click on a place in this document and you choose the slide number you want to go to. We're going to go to slide number six 
and it even tells you there warrior because that's the the top word in, in on that slide is actually warrior the heading so you click on slide 6 and it's going to take you right there as soon as you click OK your hyperlink has been installed so let's just test that we'll click on the word warrior and it's been installed now this arrow is not going anywhere at the minute so that's what you need to do right click on it and you need to click on hyperlink in that drop down menu and we want to say that we want to go back up to slide 3 so place in this document slide 3 OK and that now that arrow has functionality because it does I'll just delete this uh, red advice now and play this slide just to see whether it works the arrow now if I move on it you can see the my arrow cursor turns into a hand and takes me exactly to where I want to be that's basically it for this template might finish with one final bit of advice great way to save these is you can save it as a PowerPoint or choose to save as a PDF which is a great way of uh, displaying it if you're going to put it in a wiki or, or on the internet uh, much much more friendly and the kids don't need PowerPoint on their computer if, if they don't have Microsoft Office at home and there you go there's the one we've just created okay hope that explains it thanks for your time